Monday, day 71. You know what we do on Mondays. We're like sharks. We swim around looking for stuff to eat and reminding people we're sharks, right? So, hey man, you got to get up, suit up and show up on Mondays because if you start slow, it makes for a very difficult long week because you got stuff to get uh I'm going to try it again because I'm starting slow. If you start slow, you got a lot of stuff to make up between now and the end of the week to finish strong. So why not get ahead of the curve a little bit, right? Get your coffee in and, uh, you know, um, hit the ground running, man. And part of that is planning for the night before what's going to take place this morning. And while I was doing that, I was reading something um, that, that, that really caught my attention. And it was talking about, you know, people, all of us have these spiritual gifts you know, we all have spiritual gifts. We may not know what they are, but we have them and they're given by one person, right? And here's the challenge, you know, um, these spiritual gifts are part of, you know, several different gifts that God gives you when you ask for forgiveness and you do something called surrendering and just following his will and not yours. Not being so naive to think that you know why you were created and what you're here for and you've got a great plan for your life. Someone once told me, if you want to get a good chuckle out of God, just tell him what, what, what your plans are for your life. All right. So when you surrender, you're saying basically, hey, man, I, I realize, God, you made me for a purpose. You've given me some gifts. Um, I'm just going to surrender to you. I'm going to do the work. I'm going to suit up and show up. And I'm going to do my part, but I'm going to understand and know that you're going to help me do the things I can't do for myself by guiding my will, my thoughts, and my actions every day to do your will. So, you know, some of you might be saying, well, Ken, what, what is your will? Well, I'm learning. I'm, it's an everyday process, but I do know that there are certain things that I'm promised when I do surrender. One of them is, is that there's no condemnation. There's no, there's no judging of me by the man upstairs when the day comes and I'm face to face alone with him. Um, because I gave my will and my life and my thoughts over to the care to Jesus, right? That's who I, I look at as my, my, my Lord and Savior, my, my, um, my higher power of authority. And in scripture, it says when you do that, you're promised certain things, you know, you're promised that you won't be judged. Um, you're promised that you'll have eternal life. Uh, you're promised you'll be given spiritual gifts. And, you know, one of the things I do feel like has been always a spiritual gift for me. Um, and, and a lot of you had, had a say in this, believe it or not. Ever since I was a little kid when I was playing sports, I used to always hear, oh, Ken, you know, Ken's a natural born leader or Ken's got the gift for gab or Ken's a, a, um, a, a good, uh, a good inspiration, you know? And, and years ago I thought, what can I do with these tools to help kind of take me over the top? And maybe those are the spiritual gifts I've been given. So one of the other gifts that I have is the habit of making bad decisions. Yeah, you heard that right. I make bad decisions, you make bad decisions, and we're going to continue making bad decisions. That's just who we are as human beings. But when you give your will and your thoughts and your care of your life over to the care of God, you know, he'll He'll forgive you for those. You have to ask for him for, for, for forgiveness. You have to help ask him to help you right the ship. And he will give you the skill sets to overcome those challenges. In scripture, it says the wages of sin are death. The wages are sin of death. So you've already sinned. So it's already been ordained that we're all going to die in this life. I hate to bring it to your attention, but we're not going to be in this space forever, right? So what are we going to do? We got to make the best use of that time and not be so stressed about what's going to happen in the afterlife. But if you give your will and your life and your thoughts over the care of your higher power of authority and scripture says specifically that's Jesus. You may not agree with me on that. That's okay. I just wanted to throw it out there um, that there will be no condemnation. You know, you will be forgiven. You will not be judged. You'll have internal life in heaven and you'll be given access and knowledge of what your spiritual gifts are to be a blessing to other people. So, you know, one of the things I said earlier is that I have this uh, ability to be an inspiration. I feel like I, I'm, I'm pretty uh, gifted at communicating and, be, and and being a good leader, but I also make mistakes. So what I've tried to do is I try to correct those mistakes and just share these experiences of strength, hope, and, and vision and uh, uh, with all of you that maybe go through some, some similar things that can maybe help you move the needle today and uh, get to the next step and uh, start this week off strong and end, and end the week even stronger, okay? So be brave, be strong, and go get what's yours today.